In today's video, we're revisiting multi-prompts in mid-journey. It's been a while since we looked at multi-prompts, way back in version 3, so let's circle back and look at what multi-prompts are, why creators use them, and often why they don't. You'll rarely see me use a multi-prompt, but am I missing a trick? Let's find out. Today we'll be working in mid-journey version 5.2. Stick around to the end and I'll show you an easy way to use multi-prompts with images. You don't see multi-prompts used too often, but if you come across a prompt with a double colon in mid-journey, you're looking at a multi-prompt. They're called multi-prompts because the double colon separates your prompt into many or multiple prompts. Mid-journey generates each prompt separately and then blends them together. When writing a multi-prompt, formatting is really important. You enter your first prompt, type a double colon, then add a space before the next prompt. The second colon is sometimes followed by a number. This is a wait and we'll get to that in a second. Multi-prompts work in all versions of Midjourney as well as Niji and Niji 5. Use multi-prompts when you have multiple distinct subjects or concepts in your prompt that you want to separate. This prevents them from getting blended together randomly. In Midjourney's user manual, they use the example of a spaceship. A spaceship is one thing, but if you have in mind a ship in space, you may want to separate the concepts. Spaceship and space, double colon, ship, return very different results. When you add the double colon, Midjourney creates an image for space and a separate image for ship, and then blends them together. If you're not getting the result you want, you can try adding multi-prompts when you remix. One of the best reasons to use a multi-prompt is to control the relative importance or weight of different sections of your prompt. You're telling the AI that you want more of this and less of that. If you don't add weights, all the sections are treated as equal. Adding a number after the double colon weights that concept as more important. If you don't add a number, the weight is 1 by default. So weighting space over ship produces images focused more on the concept of space. Higher numbers mean that section will be weighted as more important. The exact numbers really don't matter, it's their relationship to each other. Remember, weights apply to the phrase that comes before the double colon. You can see the difference when I shift the weight from the red tree to the white horse. But it's a balance. A lot of emphasis on one element of your prompt makes the other element completely disappear. The default weight is 1, but if you want something to have less weight, you can weight it 0 0.5. If you want something to be more important, weight it 2 or more. The weighted field is a good example of why a multi-prompt may not work for you. Where did this lady come from? Remember the AI is dividing up the prompts and running them separately. A lady appears because the field is weighted. In the AI's mind, a field should have a lovely lady. See what happens if I just prompt in a field. It does help when you connect the different multi-prompts together. You can also negatively weight part of your prompt. A negative weight tells the AI what you don't want to see. A weight of negative 0.5 is the same as using the dash dash no parameter. But using a negative weight has the advantage because you can use a higher negative value with weighting. If you use negative weights, make sure to balance them with positive weights. The total weight of your entire prompt must be positive. Prompts that sum close to zero may be slightly odd looking but that may be what you're looking for. 
Adding multi-prompts with weights sometimes helps if Midjourney seems to ignore part of your prompt. When you divide your prompt, make sure each section works as a prompt. One random word doesn't make much sense to the AI, and it can totally change your image. But you can use what they call the slider method to pull a word out of a longer prompt and assign a weight to this word. Changing the weight then changes the emphasis in the prompt. I can easily change how much fantasy is in this design. Multiprompts are a way of weighting text prompts, but there are also ways to weight image prompts. By giving the journey an image, you're saying, I want my image to look like this. If you weight the image prompt, you're saying, I want my image to really look like this. If you've not used image prompts before, simply drag an image into Discord, hit enter, and copy the URL. Now add the URL to your prompt. You can weight the image stronger by adding an image weight parameter. At the end of your prompt, it typed dash dash IW and a number from one to two. But you can have more than one image in your prompt and the image weight parameter weights all your images equally. Instead, use multi-prompts after your images and weight each individually. Let's use two different bird images and change the weights. Notice that the image changes as I adjust the weights. Sometimes it's more hummingbird, sometimes it's more peacock. One reason you don't see multi-prompts very often is that most creators are working on one visual idea. If you're prompting one subject and simply describing the lighting or the details of that subject, you don't really need to multi-prompt. Midjourney has much better language understanding in version four and version five. If you speak normally to the AI, it often gets the gist of what you're asking for and gives you the image you're after. Multi-prompts just get in the way. Remember, Midjourney is generating the prompts separately and then putting them together. If you multi-prompt an ink and watercolor painting of the Brooklyn Bridge at full moon, you'll get random images of the bridge and random ink and watercolor paintings. The combination comes out looking nothing like the Brooklyn Bridge. But take out the multi-prompt and you'll get much closer to what you want. So use multi-prompts on special occasions, like when combining two or more subjects together or when the AI seems to ignore a key part of your description. Now you know the principle behind multi-prompts and text weights in Midjourney, you can use them to gain more control over your AI images. I don't often use multi-prompts in my image making, but it is a useful tool to have when you want to add emphasis to an element. Let us know how you use multi-prompts in the comments below. If this video was helpful, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is Jen at Making the Photo. Let's make something amazing together.